it's Monday, April 26th. This is Hannah Bodio with your morning announcements. Let's get into it. This is a reminder that there will be no school or advisory on Wednesday due to teacher work day. Seniors, the original order for cap and gown was a green gown and white cap, but the manufacturing company mistakenly delivered green caps. You can keep the green cap or you can exchange for a white cap. If you would like to exchange it, you must fill out a Google survey. See the bulletin for the link. The deadline to decide is Wednesday. There are many scholarships that have a May 1st deadline. These scholarships can be used for a two-year or four-year college or trade schools. Apply soon. The Career Center has several upcoming opportunities. On Wednesday, from 2 to 2.45, the OHSU Trauma and ICU Department will will share their career experiences with you. Presenters include surgeon, research assistant professor, physician assistant, physician assistant, and clinical coordinator supervisor. Also on Wednesday from 3 to 3.45, Cadence Group will share a presentation on cybersecurity. Check the bulletin for the links to these career-centered events. Sparrow Club is hosting a virtual auction. They would love to have you help them by supporting Sparrow Club USA's first ever virtual auction starting this Friday. There will be over 100 items added in by Friday. We are busy loading new items each day. We can't keep up. It's free to register. Just click the link can be ready to bid when the auction starts. It's time to vote for next year's ASB. At the end of Tiger today, you'll have time to go to the leadership website, read the bios of the candidates, and watch their speeches. Then you will be able to vote for next year's ASB leaders. That's all for this week, Tigers. Have a great week. On April 19th, Tiger High School opened its doors to students for the first time in the 2020-2021 school year. On Monday, only freshmen and sophomores in cohort A came to school, with the juniors and seniors joining them the next day. The pattern was then repeated for the B cohort on Thursday and Friday. Students enjoyed being back in the building, seeing the new construction and some friendly faces, but they were surprised by how few students were in their classes. Here's what a few students had to say. I'd say that so far being back has been pretty fun. There hasn't been a whole lot of people in my classes, but that means it's been quiet and I can get lots of work done. Uh, my first impression about the school, it's super open and I'm just glad to be back, it's refreshing. My first impressions of the school are that the new additions are really cool. It's just weird how few people there are and it doesn't really feel like school yet. Did you know that on April 19th, everyone 16 and up is eligible to get a COVID vaccine? You may be asking yourself, how do I know when I'm eligible and how do I sign up to get an appointment? Well, look no further than getvaccinated.oregon.gov. What you're going to want to do is follow the instructions on the website to sign up for email notifications on your eligibility status and vaccine events near you. It's a really quick process, it takes 10 minutes, and all you have to do is check your inbox every once in a while to see when you're ready to get a vaccine. I'm Lise Butera. I'm Callan Jolly. I'm Jamie Tota. I'm Pete Sharris. We want you to use your student voice and vote for who you want your ASB president to be. Go check out the website link and the Instagram bio. Go Tigers!